could be a good one. Sorry. Right now you're considering about to jump into school for photography and videography and you don't know if it's the right call. I'm gonna tell you why you should go or shouldn't go and where to invest your money instead. Let's get this video started. All right guys, so this is a huge topic and before I dive any deeper, I am college dropout. Now I'm gonna be talking about all my experiences of what I went through, why I made the decision and from my learning style, why it was the right decision. So I started my photography business when I was in grade 11. This is really important to the back end of the story. I filled up my summers in grade 11 and grade 12 with 14 weddings, then 18 weddings, and I had enough brand equity. So after high school, I was getting, you know, kind of the pressure of the social norms, my friends, family, and everything that I should at least go to college for something. So what's my passion? Well, my passion is actually marketing business and growing things. Photography and videography was the vehicle at the time. So I didn't go to school for photography, but the same premise is about to come alive. I went to school for marketing. So first two weeks in, I'm like, I love everything I'm learning, but the opportunity cost of my time for what's in front of me is way too high. If you don't know what opportunity cost is, it's if I spend 40 hours a week going to school, studying and trying to conform to the old ways of marketing of what my teachers were trying to teach me, what was the cost of my time relative to spending 40 hours a week at least uh, pouring into my photography business and making new opportunities and learning modern marketing ways uh, that was already working for me and continuing to grow. How much money could I earn? What's my happiness? Am I going to be more in control? What other elements can I control? And that's what I did. I dropped out three weeks in. So now let's dive specifically. Should you go to college for photography and videography? It comes down to kind of three things in my opinion. Number one, what is your learning style? My learning style, I'm a self-starter. I love starting things, learning it on my own, going out, doing, learning on the streets. I hate being told what to do. That's why I love being self-employed. Now that's one learning style. Like you love doing things on your own, kind of finding everything online. And yes, I spent a lot of money on resources and learning, just I wasn't in a traditional environment. Number two, this is the second thing that will likely be involved. Are you someone that kind of needs your hand held? Now you can get this with other avenues that I'm about to talk about, but if you kind of feel like you like the structure of going to a class, being told what to do, here's the, the course outline, you have your five classes, you have peers with you and you have time in front of you, you're 18 and that's a great option. Now three, this is really important. Um, I'm a huge financial nerd. It's a big aspect of my life. Are you paying for this on your own or is mom and dad going to help you? If the top bottom two both say yes, you love the structure, you're not a self-starter, and B, uh, your parents have actually saved money to help invest in your education, I would be open to you going to school for photography and video if you're younger, 18, 19, 20, and definitely exploring that. Now, if your parents are open to this, saying, hey mom and dad, I wanna learn photography and video, uh, these are the reasons why I don't wanna go to college, and I'm about to go through them, but, these resources that I'm about to go through, if your parents are willing to invest, uh, whether your normal capital they had was twenty to forty thousand dollars, but now three thousand dollars worth of education and two thousand dollars worth of photography gear, I promise you, with the resources I'm about to tell you, your upside is going to be so huge relative to going to school and photography with the other resources I'm going to tell you. So let's get started about some things I don't like about going to school for photography. Number one, the mindsets they teach you. These professors, they were amazing photographers and still are, but they were in the business in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, before the social media era. They don't know the modern ways to business, marketing, branding, sales, and there's so much out there that you can just go out and learn and do. Oh, I have this one friend who just uh, graduated and he, all the, the mindsets that they're teaching them is that you have to shadow a photographer for six years, get them coffee, and then eventually you might be able to be successful 10 years after graduating. That's a decade. I was a kid in high school. Within three months, I had a full summer that I could have lived off of if I was alone and single in the world with the modern ways of marketing and branding and going out and doing. So 
Now, mind you, if you choose a very sexy program that teaches you photo and video and businesses, and there's a lot of great programs. So my number one tip, mom and dad are gonna spend for it, and you're that type of learner and you really want to, you have the time and you like the social and you really desire to go to school, that's awesome. I commend you, do that. If you're gonna do that, I really hope that on the side, you're starting your brand, you're learning other ways online and you're learning the modern ways of marketing and branding and selling and, and connecting with amazing clients. You're doing shoots for free. You're building your portfolio outside of what your school wants you to. Teachers, they're gonna try to keep you in a bubble potentially on who your teacher is. There's amazing teachers out there, but the only thing I've heard from everyone that went to my local colleges and universities is that they try to keep you in a bubble and hold you there. And they tell you this is the only way to being in this art industry. I call this artist syndrome. You graduate, you think you don't wanna charge much for your work because you don't wanna steal money from people. Your art is everything. You don't wanna learn about business because business is the art of all, money is the root of all evil and all these mindsets and we got, we got to stop artist syndrome. This is the term I've been saying for five years. You meet two types of people in the creative industry. There's people with artist syndrome and the people with it, like myself, but also loves business. They love solving meaningful problems for awesome humans and, and attracting awesome money into their life that they can do more good in their business with. Uh, oh, I could go on and on. So let's dive into the next portion of the video. Now this is actually probably the most important part of the video how to learn photography and videography if you're not gonna go to college. So, there's an abundance of information out there in the information age. We're done with the industrial age, we're in the information age, as you know, because you're watching this video right now. There's so many resources, online, podcasts, books, YouTube videos, paid uh, Patreons, um, e-courses from other amazing photographers, uh, Udemy, creativelive.com, the list goes on and on. I think I spent around $1,000 on education on my first two years as a wedding photographer, and the ROI on that is just endless. It gave me the marketing knowledge, the branding knowledge, the business knowledge, the sales knowledge, and on top of all the other books and resources that I've learned about money, finance, real estate, and all the other things in my life that only help my photography business, it's just, it's endless. I. I commend you guys in the podcast too. Oh, sprouting photographer, great podcast. I, just, I could just go on and on. See, these were the things that I was getting into my head. I was changing my mindset. I was learning the tools. I was getting the strategies and I was creating a meaningful brand that I was going to connect with amazing clients. And I was following all the right steps from amazing mentors that are in the industry today. They're using the tools of today and you're learning from people that you really respect instead of going to college and learning from people that were successful in the 90s. Advertising in magazines worked in the 90s. Shadowing a photographer worked in the 90s. Grabbing coffee for them, that worked in the 90s. Printing your photos and selling them on a wall, that worked in the 90s. We're in a digital age. So I really hope I was clear there. I think these style of videos we're gonna do is kind of gonna be more of a rant faces because that's when I get most passionate. Um, I was gonna write like four little points and then just go off on each point. Uh, because I am a college dropout and I'm proud to say that. I'm so proud because I can you imagine if I conform to the social norms uh, and that the opportunity cost was so high and then they changed my mindset into this and that and then I, I wouldn't have had the amazing four years out of high school that I've had. So I'm gonna wrap it up there guys. Uh, I would definitely recommend going to college and university if the financing is from your awesome parents or a source like that, grandparents, and you have the time and you want to, and that's your learning style. If you're a self-starter, you know where to find the resources online and go find it. Maybe you don't know, but go find it, ask your friends and stuff. You build your friends in the circles that you want. So if you're not gonna go to college, where you're gonna find your friends, go network, go shoot, go meet photographers, go meet business people that you love and are similar and like-minded, because then you build that culture, that culture within. So you're not just working in your mom's basement and being like, I'm alone in this world, because entrepreneurship can be lonely, but not when you have amazing friends. I've kind of brought into my life. So that's a huge another tip. And if you're gonna go out and do, act, build your business, do free shoes, network people in the area, and like, oh, it's so much fun. Now, if you can do both, that is awesome. Because having that as an asset in your arsenal of going forward in life, it's really nice to have something quote unquote on paper that or put it on the wall and say, I went to college or university for this. 
boom, they can get you a job. Maybe you got a marketing firm, you can get a photographer for it. Uh, but if you're a self-starter, that brand you build from your own and other brands you build around it, that will be your, your, your resume too. So yeah, two type of artists out there, ones with artist syndrome, one without. I love college university if it's the right program for you, if the financing is there, if that's your learning style. If you can do both, awesome. If you're a self-starter and you know it's gonna be opportunity costs and mom and dad are gonna be pissed at you if you don't go, like Gary Vee says, would you rather them resent you for two years, but you're truly happy inside and then two years after you're gonna be successful and then everyone, everything's gonna be good or you conform, conform to their needs and then you resent them for so long. That's important questions to, to ask, but that's all Gary Vee stuff I just said right there, the last few things. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want more of these style of rant videos, definitely let me know, ask questions below and I wanna build a family here. So definitely uh, feel free to subscribe if you're a first first time watching and like the video because I, I really want to I really want to build an awesome family here on YouTube we have an awesome Facebook group as well that photographers are talking about and helping each other throughout the process of building awesome businesses kicking artist syndrome out of their butts and just growing meaningful lives doing what we love creating awesome income and then learning how to invest that and that's everything about this channel. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe out there, and have a great day. Peace. Is that loud? <laughs> it's probably loud.